What's up, YouTube? I have not filmed myself talking or doing anything like that for what feels like a month. So I kind of made a promise to myself that I was just gonna start filming myself doing like everyday things to try to like throw into a random video because I haven't been doing Ben's videos or anything like that. So I was like, why not just film myself doing everyday things? Not really a day in the life of video, but just like a random video with thrifting and me doing random stuff. Anyways, so I just woke up, hair is crazy. Um, but I'm staying home today to take a bunch of pictures. I'm taking like some collection pictures for Instagram, some random stuff like that. So I was just like, I'm just gonna film my day in the process of and throw it into maybe some bins footage later this week. I'm going to bins like three times. Also mentioned in my live stream, go watch my live stream if you guys haven't. In the beginning of it, I did talk about getting a house. I confirmed, have bought a house, I'm just waiting for all the back end stuff to come through. So hopefully I can move in within like a month. That's the goal, but I need to start buying stuff for my house. So a house tour video will definitely be coming. Definitely have clips of me like moving in and stuff like that. And I'm basically making the full garage like a little reselling space where I could potentially have people come over and buy for me and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really cool. But uh, I don't know why I was just like, I need to start filming myself doing stuff. So here we go. This is gonna be thrown in with a bunch of other clips. So let's do it. I don't know why my flash is on, but we eating a bagel. We gonna have some of this juice, it's so good. And we're watching Gunslinger Girl. So that's my day so far. All right, I'm about to shoot all of these pieces. I have 30 pieces, so this will be post for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. I normally do 10 new items on Depop a day, so that will suffice me for the next few days because I'm going to bins on Tuesday, and Wednesday I'm hanging with a friend, so those are my items I'm about to take pictures of. Something else I need to do today is clean this bed and organize it it's just a mess right now so i'm gonna try to get it in order of like things i should post right now on depop and like better items and then obviously i have like bottoms here and i'm gonna try to like have a sweater pile etc so i'll update you guys if i do that but yeah i'm about to shoot some pictures and then probably take some like collection pictures for instagram and stuff this is all stuff i have listed on depop i cannot wait to move into my own place so that i have way more room and it'll be way more organized but but this is my life. All right, I just shot all those pieces. I think I'm gonna have lunch and then I'm going to do a collection picture and I'll show you guys it when it's all laid out. All right, so I got everything set up. This is for an Instagram like challenge thing going around called the Vintage Face Off Challenge, I believe is what it's called. But yeah, you guys will see this on my Instagram. Almost all of these are personals and it's just like vintage shirts with faces. So yeah, this took me like maybe 45 minutes or so to set up and I'm super happy with how it looks. I'm gonna take a picture right now. I also just set up my crow collection to take a picture for Instagram. And yeah, it's beautiful. It's nice just looking at them. I honestly want a few more. There's like a few I know that I don't have that I do want, but I kind of paused on like just buying them for a minute. But I think this is 16. And I think I used to have like 25, but some were like newer prints or like mid 2000s. And I just like got rid of them. So yeah, these are beautiful though. Not for sale. All right, so I'm in a thrift right now. The workers at the bins that I go to said that there are no new clothing shipments for two weeks. Two weeks, there's no new clothing shipments because of the fires and anything they get donated or whatever, they want to hold because of air quality or they're not even accepting donations. So essentially, I'm not gonna be able to go to bins for two weeks. So we're in a thrift, it's super dry. But yeah, I just wanted to update y'all of what's going on right now. All the fires are really messing everything up. The air quality is terrible. So that kind of sucks. Not gonna be able to source for like probably two weeks now, except for like local thrifts and stuff. So we out here, but there's nothing here. So I just found like 40 sealed games. They're each selling for at least like 30 on eBay. So Ben's mom's dropping all hers, but 
we split them in half, so I got like 22 or something. These ones are like good. These ones are at least like 30, 35. These are like maybe 30. But the only ones listed brand new for each of these are like 50. They're all up for 50 on eBay, so it's a good little find. And then I got just a little silver tag, three bucks, long sleeve, probably like 20 bucks on Depop, but this is kind of a good find. We got all the games. I think I got like 21 or 22 and then the Nike long sleeve and it was 63 bucks. So I'll probably get my money back in like two of those games maybe. So that was really sick, honestly. Probably like a 400, like maybe close to $400 profit. So this is what Washington looks like, and it's not clouds, it's smoke. Like, it's really bad. You can see it's like really smoky, so yeah, this is what we've been dealing with. Anyways, though, I just got home, so this is the stuff I got from Beans. I showed some of it off. I got this like Supreme hat. Supreme hat right here. It's really good for the time of the year, too. It's like a pumpkin, so this is probably like 50, 60 bucks, so that was a good find. Bootleg Fendi, some other stuff. Abby gave me some stuff. We do trades and stuff. If I have eBay stuff and she has more like Depop geared stuff, she'll trade me. This one's really cool. She traded me this. It's like a Microsoft promo jacket. It's really sick. I don't know how much I'll get for it, how much they're really worth. Uh, it's a really thin jacket, but the back says, building the future one bite at a time. I feel like if I threw this on Depop for like 40 bucks or something, I could probably get that much for it but what else okay so the last spot we were at i came up on this shirt and it's a nasty mix records tee and they're like a seattle based record label and they put out a lot of sir mix a lot stuff has the get nasty hit on the back showed it off in there but it was one dollar single stitched on an onita blank and i only found one other one online and someone had it up for 120 bucks so I mean, I don't know how desirable it is or how known it is, but it seems like they put out some punk, put out The Accused and some other punk band, like Seven Inches and stuff too. So I'm sure someone will want it. And I think some people on my story already asked about it. I haven't looked at my DMs yet, but yeah, it might be sold by the time I post this video. But even if I get like 80 bucks or so for it, it was a dollar, so. And then all those video games, this was actually crazy. So in the moment, I didn't think about how crazy this was. PS3 games are kind of like going up in value i split them between me and abby so there was like 40 something and i like just let her have half of them i was like yo i'm not gonna take all these so i gave her 20 and then i got 21 so there was like 41 games total a lot of these indiana jones too and then a lot of these star wars so these were the two games and these are both in sold comps this one is like 40 like 35 to 40 in solds and then this one was like the same. It was like 30 to like 40. But the thing is, is the only ones listed right now that are new is like 40 to 50 on this. And it's the same for this. It's like 50 or like the brand new sealed ones. So even if I list all these right now for like 35 bucks and just put a quantity of like 10 or however many I have, like that's a profit of like $500, like 500 plus dollars. So that's crazy this is actually like a crazy find what is up youtube so yesterday i stayed home and took pictures and organized this room believe it or not this used to be way messier and it's pretty organized these are all jackets bottoms tees sweatshirts more tees i got some summer stuff that i'm just gonna store away kids stuff documents receipts things like that and then i organized this up a little bit got some more room in here don't look at that that's like my death pile don't look at that but yeah i was just gonna throw this clip into whatever video this ends up being i think i'm gonna end up actually making this a racks thrifting video since bins are so random right now yo don't judge my hair's up in a bun right now but okay, anyways, bins are so random right now. So yesterday, I don't think like anyone went, but then today I've seen two different people that went. I think someone is out of bins that I don't normally go to and it seems like it's going as planned. And then someone else actually went to the bins that I normally go to and they told me that they're rotating like normal and they have new clothes coming out. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what to believe. I think I'm just gonna go back to bins on like Tuesday. I think I'm gonna do a full day of going to normal thrift stores, going to racks, which I haven't done in 
so long. I never do that anymore. I'll just stop in if it's like convenient for me, but I think I'm going to do a full video and no matter what I get, if I don't get anything, if like I come up on like the stupidest stuff, I'm just going to show you guys so I can kind of show you guys what it is compared to like racks versus bins. So I think I'm just going to make this video into like random clips. Plus I spent a whole day thrifting, going to retail stores. What did I get? What's up y'all? It's Friday. It's like 11.30. Abby, AKA Bin's mom is on her way to grab you right now. And we're gonna go hit some retail stores. I think we're gonna hit at least probably like six, maybe more. Little bit of a late start to the day. This is kind of spur of the moment. Also, we weren't really planning on this, but we do normally go to Bin's together on Fridays and it's Friday, like I said, right now. I'm really itching to thrift and this air quality issue is going on. So there's like no new donations. So I honestly don't know if the thrift stores are gonna be any better than Bin's. It might be super dry, it might be super bare, they might not even be putting out new donations right now, but we're gonna go see, I'm gonna make a video no matter what, I'm gonna try to film in every store no matter what, even if I don't find anything. So I'm putting good energy out there right now, I will come up on something, there will be something in this video that will be very cool. So just putting that out there right now before we leave. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading videos as much. The reason why I haven't been uploading videos as much, I think I mentioned this on my live. I don't know if I've mentioned in a video yet, but your boy bought a house. So I bought a house and I'm in the process of the back end stuff, the paperwork stuff. I've been having to go to the bank and make all these random trips and also try to thrift and sell at the same time. So house has been priority. So that's why I haven't had a new video in like two weeks or so. And honestly, I'll probably be putting out videos maybe every other week. I'm definitely gonna do a house tour video, stuff like that. I'm gonna have like a little Depop set up in the garage of the place that I bought. So I'll definitely do videos on that, but I apologize. I've been slacking a little bit, but it's because I'm making big life changes. So I'm very stoked about that. Let's go get some stuff. At the local Goodwill. Let's see the 10 shirts that they have in here. They only have 10 shirts at all times. Let's go. This is literally all that's in here. That's it. We got a Made in USA guest piece. Here's the inner tag. But it's like a short sleeve button up. It's like not the time of year. A little embroidery and it's like six bucks. So I'm gonna pass. I've seen like one vintage tea in here and it's this one. That's it. It's like four bucks too. Okay, spot one sucked. Spot two. We're gonna find something. They're closed! We couldn't even go in! Okay, so we're number three, but technically two because the other one was closed. Got this vintage San Diego tea, but I don't like that it's just the American flag. And then this boss tea is kind of dope, but not for like six bucks. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas tea, licensed to Giant, but 10 bucks, and it's like a really bad graphic. So, no thanks. Got an Enjoy skateboarding tea for only $1.50, but I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think I could get more than like 15 bucks for it. So, not worth it. Okay, so, so far we have one thing. It's this Red Eraser brand. It's four bucks. And I looked up comps and I saw a shirt sell for like 30. So, probably worth it. Probably at least like 20 or 30 bucks on Depop. So, I'll grab that for like 350. Okay, at this point, thrift stores are just out of hand, out of pocket. They're crazy, they're losing their mind. This is like a cheap, like, baseball-looking shoe, unbranded. Ask, I think it says, like, ask at the front or something, $23. What are they smoking, dude? This is nuts. Y'all see this? Okay, pretty positive it's fake. Like, almost positive it's fake, but still. We got CDG. Five bucks. Ooh, the back is so hard. Even if it's fake, I'm gonna take it just because the back is crazy. Um, it does have an inner tag, but this material on the inside is like hella bad quality. So that's 90% sure it's fake. Here's the inner tag. It's like hella plasticky. Uh, I'm gonna look up tags, but like I said, pretty positive this is fake. 
but still kind of cool. Okay, I looked a little more and I, I think it might be real. So I don't know. I really don't know, but it's crazy. Found this polo sport jacket too for six bucks, but I can't get the zipper to work. I think it's maybe like a $30 jacket if it would work, but yeah, I can't get the zipper to work, so I'm gonna leave it. Got this super hard Seattle Seahawks. Hits on the sleeve, single stitch from 1996, but it's like a small or a medium and they want 13 bucks for it. So I think this is potentially like a $30 piece, but I'm not gonna spend 13 bucks on it and it's like smaller too, so just sucks. All right, we hopping into a new spot. This is a Goodwill. Uh, I got confirmation from my friend Michael that that CDG jacket is legit. And I was looking at other ones on Grailed and yeah, it's legit. So that's crazy. Probably at least like a $200 jacket, probably more though. So let's go. We got some adult sized Heelys. Do I cop? Also got this like fully embroidered logo, Skittle Tees logo, logo <laughs> size XL, single stitch, looks like brand new. It is four bucks. I don't think I can get more than like 20, so I don't know if I'm gonna grab it. All right, so we got Skittles Tee. I found this, it's just like a tonal hit Nike 90s windbreaker. This like white bag, I want six bucks for it. It's super lightweight, dropped something else, super lightweight. Has a hidden hood. I don't really know if it's worth it. I feel like I could maybe get 30 for it, maybe like 25, 30. So I don't know. And then this sucks that it's embroidered on the back. Got this made in USA Levi's denim jacket that has this stupid embroidery on the back and it's like 13 bucks. So I'll probably pass on that. All right, so we're coming out with two things. I ended up getting the Skittle shirt and the Nike jacket. It was 12 bucks total. I think I could make like 30 on the Nike and like 20 on the Skittles. So I thought it was worth it. So man, after that CDG though, I don't really need anything else today, but I think we're gonna hit up like two or three more spots. So let's go. Spot number four, four. All right, we got some scoops. So we got this Burberry London blue label like really nice like pink bag and I literally saw this like hanging out of the corner of my eye and I almost walked by it and then I went back and I was like dude that's Burberry so I saw these online going for at least like 50 to 70 so that's a good scoop for like six bucks and then just this tech tee it's a dollar fifty um I have a dude that like buys almost every tech tee that I post no matter if it's like a random software or whatever so i figured i'd at least get it the graphics sick like at least maybe like 15 shipped on depop if i don't sell to him and then we got a size xl silver tag just nike logo honestly get like 18 bucks or so for these so scoop that too last stop of the day this looks like a sex store well, they don't have anything good, but their prices are good. And this is like the only Salvation Army in Washington, I think. Like we don't have any other ones. I know other places like the Midwest and stuff, I feel like have a ton of Salvation Armies, but we don't have any. And it's really nice. Nothing. Nothing. We didn't find anything. Nothing. All right, I am back home and here's everything I got today. It is not a lot of stuff, but it is some pretty good stuff. So I'm just gonna go through it right here, just like this. So first off, we got this Burberry blue label, kind of like purse bag. It was six bucks. I think it might be bootleg. I'm not entirely sure. The only thing that makes me think it's bootleg is this. The other blue label things I saw had an actual blue label inside of them. But yeah, there's branding on every single little thing, Burberry. This looks fine. The quality is like, okay, it just needs to be cleaned up, but I don't know. The leather doesn't feel that good. So I'm not sure. I am not sure, but even for $5, uh, I think I could at least get like 30, even if it's bootleg. Like, if it is real, it's like 70 or more. So this is just a tech tee. It's in like dead sock condition. It was $1.50. So I got it. It has this hit on the front. What's the fastest way to select access hardware? 
And then the back is this hit. Like I said earlier in the video, I just have a dude that buys like a lot of my tech tees. So I picked it up to see if he wanted it. If not, sell it for like 15 bucks. We got a silver tag. So early 2000s size XL Nike T. I sold a double XL of this exact design, but it was like black with gray. And I sold it for, I think like 20 shipped or something. So probably get around that for it. This one I didn't know if I wanted to get. I ended up getting it. It's a single stitch made in USA size XL. It's just Skittles in brighter, nothing else on it, but it's in like dead stock condition. I thought at least like 20 bucks for it. So it was like $4. And then this is apparently a Canadian streetwear brand from like the nineties. That's what someone said that follows me on Instagram. It is called Red Eraser. And I saw a shirt go for like 30, not a lot listed though. Not a lot of them listed on eBay or Depop or anything, but I thought the design was cool enough and it was 350. So even if I get like 20 bucks for it, I was fine with that. And then we got this 90s Nike windbreaker, the silver tag, I already showed this guy off a little bit. It's just very, very basic. It has the tonal hit right here. Super good essential for like fall time, probably 30 bucks. And then this one, man, <sighs> All right, I've been doing research on this piece for the past like hour or so, and I can say with 100% confidence that it is real. <laughs> and let me tell you guys why I thought it was fake. So I've never come across a CDG piece. I've come across CDG play pieces, and this is their like main line. It's obviously a little bit different, but the reason I thought it was fake is because of this material on the inside. I've never come across this, and it just feels like, I don't even know how to describe it, like what you would put in like shoes when they're new, like just the, the foam stuffing stuff inside of shoes. I don't know how to explain it, but I was like, I think it's fake because of that. But I did a lot of research on it. This is the Comme des Garcons breaking news jacket. And it has this kind of like motion logo on the back, but it's in this beautiful pink color. So they did a capsule that was a neon green and a pink. And the pink was apparently the more rare one because I can't find any. I found one other pink one for sale on Depop and the kid has it up for like a thousand dollars. And he's like, send me offers. You guys know how rare this is. I'm not a streetwear person. Like I used to casually be into like Supreme and I'd get like some CDG play stuff, but I'm not like a streetwear person. So I don't know, but I did find one that was on some random site over a year ago. Cause this is from 2018. It dropped in 2018 and they had it up for $300. And then this one kid had one up for like a thousand that he was just trying to get offers on. So I don't know the value of this, but I'm going to say at least over 200. The other like common just ones that are just like this, but white sell for like 200. So I'm going to say at least over 200, but I'm going to sit on this piece for a while because I, I honestly don't really know what it's worth, but I saw videos uh, for when this dropped. People make like review videos of the new CDG pieces and I watched two separate videos and looked up multiple pictures on Grailed and this blog that does reviews of new CDG pieces. And these tags are exactly, it says 2018, as you can see, these tags are exactly the same as all the legit ones I saw. And I also thought it might be fake because the plasticky, but then I remembered my play shirts that I have, it's like plasticky like this. And the reason why I thought it was fake too is because it's in such good condition it's like brand new so i was like there's no way this has to be fake like but i can pretty much say that it is not fake this is definitely real so yeah this might be potentially another one of my craziest finds that i've had and i wasn't even gonna thrift today so shout out to abby for dragging me out of the house to make me go thrift that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, drop a comment. I respond to almost all the comments I get. Like I said, me dropping videos is probably gonna be like every other week or so from now on until I get my house things situated. I'm all moved in and everything, but I'm glad I was able to go out and thrift today and provide you guys with a new video and also find like a crazy piece. So again, smash the like button. I appreciate all you guys. Check out my Instagram and my Depop. They're in the description of all my videos. Check out my other videos. I have so many thrift videos. So if you you don't see a new video from me for a while go watch one of my old videos hit me up on instagram i'm posting there every single day this is jackson's love is vintage appreciate you guys later